That scene from Gone with the Wind is extraordinarily captivating like the entire movie, but it unfortunately causes us to engage in stereotyping. Of course, what really stands out about Gone with the Wind is the stereotyping of African Americans and slaves, but it also does that with Southern gentlemen or slaveholders. It gets us to believe that Southern honor tyrannized men, that honor sparked uncontrollable emotions, and that honor almost always led to violence. But of course, being a man in the Old South was much more complicated. But even when we turn away from pop culture, when we look at the historical record, we often focus on the extreme behavior of Southern men. Among the many events that led to secession in 1861, the 1856 beating of Charles Sumner by the South Carolinian Preston Brooks receives a great deal of attention. It's important to be sure, but I would suggest that it, in fact, distorts our perception of Southern men. Now, as you probably know, Brooks was, as I said, a South Carolinian. He was outraged, outraged by what Sumner from Massachusetts had done in a speech that had vilified Senator Andrew Pickens Butler. Butler was a cousin of Brooks, and Sumner had spoken of Brooks in blatantly sexual terms. What Sumner did was a breach of ordinary decency by the standards of the age. It was a terrible speech. It could very well have ruined Sumner's political career if it hadn't been for Brooks. In fact, when Sumner was on his rampage in the Senate chamber, he also took a shot at Stephen Douglas of Illinois. Douglas, of course, overheard this, and Douglas retorted under his breath, that damn fool will get himself killed by some other damn fool. 